Hi everyone, it's me, Miss Robin from the Turner Free Library, and I'm going to read you stories today about rainbows. Who doesn't love a rainbow? Especially after it rains and you go outside and you can see such beautiful colors. So this book is called Wish Upon a Rainbow, and you can see right here all these pretty rainbows, and it's very soft to the touch. <clears throat> Wish upon a rainbow to see your dreams come true. Every color grants a wish. Find out what they do. Oh, I'm excited to find out. Wish upon a rainbow to fill great days with fun where you fly red dotty kites out in the orange sun. Wish upon a rainbow to help you find your way through green and yellow jungles where little monkeys play. Here's the little monkeys. They have little hats on. So cute. Wish upon a rainbow to have magical dreams of blue and purple unicorns that dance in starlight beams. Look how pretty. So pretty. Wish upon a rainbow for everyone you love and send paying hugs and kisses to those you're thinking of. And if you touch this here, it's very soft. So this is a very cute book. You can read at touch, and it's called When You Wish Upon a Rainbow. Let's see what else Miss Robin has for you. Oh, this one's called A Rainbow of My Own by Don Freeman. Let's see what happens in this one. It takes me a while to open up the pages. And here we go. Here we go. <gasps> Today I saw a rainbow. It was beautiful, so beautiful that I wanted to catch it for my very own. I put on my raincoat and hat and ran outdoors. Fast as the wind I ran. But when I came to where the rainbow should have been, it wasn't there. I thought maybe some rainy day a rainbow will come and stay a while. I'll be walking along slowly and suddenly I'll hear a soft warring sound like the wings of a bird. I'll look around and see a rainbow following me. I'll know by the way it circles and whirls, it wants to play. So I'll hop over my rainbow and my rainbow will leap over me. I'll climb up one side and down the other. My rainbow will make a peacock fan for me to walk to in front of and a hammock for me to swing in. We'll play a game of hide and go seek. I'll shut my eyes and count to 20 and then look all around. If I were a rainbow, where would I hide? In a flower garden, of course. Rows of flowers look like a rainbow. Suddenly the sun came out again from behind the rain clouds and my pretend rainbow disappeared the way real rainbows do. Bye bye rainbow. But when I came back home, I saw something glowing inside the window of my room. And when I ran indoors, There was a rainbow dancing on the wall. The sun was shining through the water in my goldfish bowl and it made a rainbow just for me. Can you see that? A rainbow of my very own. Wouldn't that be great if you could have a rainbow all of your own? That would be so cool. Let's look at this book called Rainbow. And it's written by Marion Bauer. Have you ever seen a surprise in the sky on rainy days? Did you? Have you? This 
is what can happen. First, a few raindrops fall, plink, plump, plunk, and then more, rabbit tat tat. Millions of raindrops fill the air. But then, while the rain is still falling, the sun peeks out from behind a cloud. It shines through all that rain. And surprise, a rainbow arcs across the sky. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. How did that rainbow come to be? White sunlight passing through millions of raindrops bounces and bends. The light separates into different colors. When you are very lucky, the sunlight bounces twice. Then you see two rainbows. Sometimes a rainbow is upside down. This is called a sun smile. Looks like a smile, you see? If the angle of the sun is just right, you can even see a rainbow in a fountain or a waterfall. Have you heard the story of the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow? It is a nice story, but it is not true. A rainbow does not end. A rainbow is really a full circle. We cannot see the circle from the ground because the earth gets in the way. If you move, the rainbow will move too. No two people see the same rainbow. What you see depends on where you are standing. That's good to know. So next time the sun comes out while it is still raining, look up in the sky and enjoy your very own rainbow. And if you stand with your back to the sun, the rainbow will light up the sky. It'll be your rainbow. I love when I get to see a rainbow in the sky. Let's see what other books I have. You know, there are lots of songs about rainbows that you can look up and sing. Red and yellow, green and blue, shiny orange, purple too. These are the colors that I know when I look up in the rainbow. That's all I really know about that song. <gasps> Let's read this one. The World Made a Rainbow by Michelle Robinson. This looks like a fun book. All of the world had to stay home today. I wish that it didn't. I wanted to play. I missed everybody, my grandma, my friends. My mom said, you'll see them once everything mends. Let's paint a big rainbow to put on display. When people pass by it and see it, they'll say, all rainstorms must end and this rainstorm will too. So we dig out some paint pots. I love making art. We've got loads of red, so that's where I'll start. But red makes me think of the chairs in my class. Mom gives me a cuddle. This rainstorm will pass. I didn't, I can't reach the orange, but mom has to work. And dad was my brother who's going berserk. I'll paint with the yellow. It's bright like the sun. I spread it around with the red. This is fun. If you take orange and yellow, I mean, yeah, so I guess she made red. Let's see what else happens. Oh, she made her own orange. That's right. It was red and yellow make orange. But I can't make green. I need blue for that. But the blue paint is swiped clean. I start to feel lonely. I start to feel sad. And then, how about odd bits of cardboard, says Dad. He cuts and I stick and my brother helps too. We have to mix flour and water for glue. It looks really good, like the ocean, says Mom, and all the adventures that will still go on. Two beaches, the city, the forest, the park. The light couldn't shine if it 
never got dark, and rainbows can't color the world without rain, so we get back to work on my rainbow again. I've never been quite sure what indigo's like. Dad says, indigo, like your very first bike. And they dig out a memory box I've never seen, packed with memories and places we've been. I shout, indigo, as I spot my mom's jeans. Oh, I can't cut them out, so we use magazines. <gasps> then Dad takes a picture of Graham for Graham, and I say, memories are good. We'll make more every day. My rainbow looks great. There's just violet to go. Violet's the loveliest person I know. Violet's my best friend. I miss her so much. Mom fetches her laptop. Let's put you in touch. And would you believe Violet feels just like me and she's making a rainbow for people to see. We'll walk to see hers and she'll walk to see mine. We wave at each other and it's really just fine. Not perfect, but neither's my rainbow. So what? I'm perfectly happy with all that I've got. Violet, my parents, my brother, my friends. And we still have each other when the rainbow ends. You know, you guys could also make your own rainbow. And if you come to the library, you could pick up a craft. And it's a rainbow craft this week. So it's going to be really cool. I have one more book for you about rainbows. And it's called Rain Before Rainbows. Because I think we need rain in order to see a rainbow. This is a very pretty book. The pictures in here are really, really pretty. Clouds. Oh, I'm sorry. Rain before rainbows and clouds before sun. Night before daybreak, the old day is done. There are mountains for climbing and journeys to take. Dreams that are hopeful and decisions to make. Look at these beautiful pictures. So pretty. Dark days may shake us and worries creep in with dragons to duel and battles to win. Thunder will rumble and lightning will flash. The wind will stop blowing and tall waves will crash. But there are footsteps to follow and words that are wise. There's a map that will guide us when troubles arise. There are friends who will help us, courageous and kind, a rope to hold on to, and treasures to find. Sowing and planting roots before shoot, stem before flowers and leaves before fruit. Rain before rainbows, clouds before sun, night before daybreak, a new day's begun. A day full of promise, a day full of light. The morning is breaking and the morning is bright. Do you see this beautiful, beautiful rainbow? So pretty. Well, I hope you enjoyed all my rainbow stories, and I hope to see you all again soon. 